What is up, Empire fans? Empire Brick Studios back with another review. Um, so I went to my local Walmart and I picked up the 501st Battle Pack set as well as the Armored Assault Tank or AAT set. And I did that for a reason. I also technically picked up like uh, Ben Kenobi's hut or whatever from Tatooine. But this is just these i mean i might do a review on that later but uh yeah so i think i have something special planned for these two sets um i'm really excited to build this i mostly got this set i don't really care too much about this aat but that ahsoka figure so i'm really excited for that ahsoka figure um there are people that like part these sets out they'll buy a bunch of them not gonna name anyone specific but, uh, and they'll part them out and then, like, resell the figures for a lot more, especially Ahsoka. And, uh, I guess her figure is pretty expensive. So, it's like, I'd rather just buy the whole set. Like, I'll just spend the money and buy the whole set. I think the Ahsoka clone trooper would be pretty cool, too. Just to have for a feature mock or something. Or even just a small mock or vignette or whatever you want to call it. And then we get two more battle droids. I don't know where the printing came from these. I mean, I technically have one of these guys on my uh, ATAP walker, but uh, I don't know if I really ever saw them in canon. Um, I think a lot of people call them Kashyyyk battle droids, but I don't know. Because they are way different than just normal battle droids. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna build this and I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so I just got done building this uh, AAT. AAT, make sure I said that right. Um, this thing, in person, it's actually pretty big. I feel like uh, the cannon, uh, the barrel technically is like way too big. I do like the way this set is built. I know a lot of other people I've seen reviews on this set don't really like it too much versus like a mock or something um the uh the translucent missile fires i think are pretty ingenious design so i think if i move that up uh yeah oh. but basically it's uh this guy when you flick it down uh, let's do that. But basically, when you flick it down, it'll fire. And it does that on both sides. Um, I just knocked over Ahsoka. But yeah, so I think that was actually a little, uh, cool, ingenious idea that LEGO did for this set. Um, these rotate. The barrel rotates 360 degree, I think it's 360, it rotates all the way around, so. Uh, and then it just rotates up and then stops right there. Cause I don't think it could really shoot anything that's like that close. But uh, I decided to put a guy in here and then the other one is droid, whatever. The other one's right here. I do love these computer panels. Um, these have been in a lot of different Star Wars sets, battle packs, and micro fighters and stuff like that. I really like those computer panels, and they do come in handy for like mocks versus or uh, like in a base or on a ship or something. So they're really useful. Um, it's cool that you can actually sit the droid in there and then close the hatch. But, yeah, um, I do love this Ahsoka figure, uh, in person, sorry about the glare, uh, in person, um, it's, she's, she's pretty orange, but she's got two different faces, let me pull that off, she's got the angry face, and then the somewhat, like, better, happy face, when she's not so mad but yeah um 
I'm thinking about making these lightsabers custom. I did a video a while back on custom lightsabers that I made using little LED lights. Um, I don't know if I should do blue. I know like in the Clone Wars, I think she had blue, but in Rebels, she had like white blades. So uh, comment on this video, guys. Uh, I plan on doing custom sabers for her because I want to use her in a future mock. So um, like with lights. So should I do blue blade or uh, should I do blue lights or should I do white lights? Because I do have both and they're really tiny lights. So uh, the most, I guess the most people are trying to figure out how to say this. The most voted will win. So if a lot of you vote for blue, I'll do blue. If a lot of you vote for white, I will do white. Um, if it's like an equal tie, I'll like make sure I count up every single one of them. And if it's like an equal tie, then we'll like flip a quarter on screen or something to figure out which uh, color I want to use. But yeah, I do love this Ahsoka figure and I'm so glad to have her in my collection. Why are you so mad, Ahsoka? Jeez. Just kidding. Um, her clone trooper though, her clone trooper is really cool. I like the these phase two helmets. Um, it's basically just a standard, uh, clone trooper body with a different helmet. I mean, you compare it to the 501st guys that I just did, the body is pretty much the same, just different printing, different color on the helmet. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I think this is kind of cool. Um, comes with two... Uh, two translucent shooters and then a spare. I think every set that has these comes with a spare. So everyone that I've gotten that has these at least comes with a spare. A couple extra droid arms, an extra lightsaber hilt, and then just random parts. And then that blaster is for the guy that's driving inside. I didn't put the stickers on because I don't know if I want to keep this built. I kind of do, actually. So I might slap those stickers on. Just slap them right on there, you know. But, uh, yeah, I really like this. So I hope you guys like this review. Uh, I eventually need to get, like, a white box. Uh, one of those boxes for filming. Uh, so you're not seeing, like, a really crappy wooden table or a, a cardboard box behind it or something. So I'll eventually get one of those for reviews like this on just any set. Any small set that'll fit in the box. But yeah, uh, so I'm headed out. I hope you guys like this and remember, keep on building.